for white preservation. So now that we have made ourselves in charge, we have to keep it that way. Well, how do we keep it that way? See, if you're concerned about your genetic survival, this is the most important thing on your mind. Everybody see what this diagram, put this in your notebooks. Everybody see like this. <laughs> The gentleman may not have to put it in their notebooks. <laughs> what is this? Schematic drawing of male genitalia. This is not a man with glasses. <laughs> what was my question? If you are concerned about your genetic survival and your genetics are vulnerable, this has to be the most important consideration. Male genitalia, why? Why not female genitalia? Class, because men, only males, whether they're white, black, brown, red, or yellow, only males can impose sexual intercourse. Are you all with me? In other words, if a woman got a gun and tried to chase down, grab a man, and say you are going to have sex, She's got a Uzi. What would happen, gentlemen? She frightens you and then what? No go. So you can't have fear and erection at the same time. This is just basic physiology. So it's the male who can impose sexual intercourse. And so if people are concerned about genetic survival, <coughs> Meaning that there are some people with genetics that can overpower. White skin is a genetic recessive trait. Black is a genetically what class? Dominant. So anytime you mix a recessive plus a dominant, what are you going to get? Dominant. dominant. Okay, is that clear for everybody? White plus black never equals white. White plus black always equals color, meaning some shade of black. So if white people were fearful of their genetic annihilation, this is the important thing that is on their mind, which is why a major segment of our history as black people has been black men being lynched and castrated. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. See, instead of that being a disturbing, frightening thought, this is what has to be thought about so we understand where we are. That's how critical the situation was for white people. So, <clears throat> I've got to control the black genetic material if I'm going to survive. So then the white people think, he has weapon that can annihilate me, must create weapon, can do same thing. So this is front view of male genitalia. This is a lateral view. Turn it around 90 degrees, and you have this. What is that? A gun. A gun. Wow. Do you all follow me? What is the gun called? The great equalizer. See, I don't create this language. You see, but as a psychiatrist, I've learned to listen to what people say. What they say has high level significance. The great equalizer. What's the next question? 
equal to what? See, if you call something the great equalizer, then you say equal to what? Well, now I have weapons. What do the police say after they've shot a black man? I thought he had a weapon. I look at him. I see black man, he has keys in his hand. The white person thinks, I thought he had a weapon. Hmm. Well, he does, but what is the weapon? <laughs> it's his dominant genetic material. Do, do you see? So that the person with the gun is still walking around in a state of fear. They have the gun, but because they are not talking consciously, do you see how many white males do you think are walking down the street every day thinking, my genetic material is recessive? <laughs> <laughs> now I can tell you how, at some level, you can tell when they're thinking about it, how many black men have had the experience of a white boss talking to them in a demeaning manner. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Or not being given a promotion. That is how you can tell. They are feeling, in other words, if I have to try to demean someone else, I'm feeling demeaned. The person hasn't done anything. I'm feeling inadequate. So I have to try to reduce him. Mm -hmm. 